Welcome back to Ramsey Land. In honor of our 500th video on YouTube, I want to show you this awesome reaction between potassium chromate and lead nitrate. Check this out. So all I'm using in this double displacement reaction is lead nitrate and potassium chromate and a couple graduated cylinders of distilled water. The first step, add four grams of lead nitrate to your distilled water and make an aqueous solution by dissolving the crystals completely. The second step is to add four grams of potassium chromate to your second graduated cylinder and create an aqueous solution by completely dissolving the crystals. Once both of your reactants are completely dissolved, you're ready to combine the two. And as you pour one into the other, immediately you see a bright yellow precipitant. Watch this. Look at that. So that precipitant that's insoluble is lead chromate. You see how thick it is. I'm gonna add a little more. Just amazing. Here you can see the precipitant falling out of the solution. Okay, so what's happening in this awesome experiment is you've got an aqueous solution of potassium chromate. This, these are your reactants and lead nitrate. And when both of these are dissolved in water and combined, you create the product lead chromate and potassium nitrate. The metals are trading places with metals, non-metals with non-metals. And so your lead chromate, that's the solid precipitant. That's that bright yellow solid that appears suddenly between the two liquids. And your other product is potassium nitrate. Interestingly, when you look at this incredible solid that precipitates out of the solution, this is used as the yellow pigment in paint. The famous painter Vincent van Gogh actually used lead chromate as the yellow pigment in his painting Sunflowers. Well I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land and I'll see you next time.